Welcome back to another episode of The ADU Show. I'm Mitch Blosky, and today we're here in Escondido, California. Got some beautiful weather, but unfortunately we have some overhead power lines that were gonna get in the way of our crane service. So we opted out for a crane and it said we're having our uh, excellent team member, uh, McDonald's Transport, that's going to help us roll the home right into place on this concrete slab behind us. It's almost like sliding in a giant Lego house on a giant Lego pad. So let's take a look at some of this, uh, these uh, piers that are still being assembled on site, some of our utilities and other site features as well as the home, and get ready for another successful delivery. So this is the alley that we're gonna be taking this home back in, and this is actually a really beautiful home. I'll show you the front here in a moment. Robert, I was just about to get those donuts. We're still assembling these piers. If anybody wants to join us out for a crane day or a delivery day, boys have fresh donuts for everybody. These are where we keep our drawings wrapped up in this waterproof tube. And we also have our electrical conduit that we'll be running wire through in the next day or so. Our water connection, hopefully I don't upset anybody, but oh good, it's been turned off already so I don't get anything wet. These piers are still being assembled. Let's take a look over here and see how this assembly works. This look good. Thank you. So this is gonna be our sewer line here. So when you flush the toilet, it's just gonna be going right down there. We'll probably end up cutting this down a little bit, to make sure the house doesn't hit it. This will be our drain line. We're in any water collects under the building. So here's their backyard. Nice slab poured here for a future patio space for the future tenants of this home. This is our electrical panel. So we, this is an easy install where we just connected. It's already a 200 amp existing panel. Ran that conduit right there under this earth and right up to that connection point. Let's go take a look at the sewer line, which you could tell there's a sewer and it's running right under here. This is called a bullhead clean out, which is really cool. So underneath the ground here, it's a U shape. So if there was a clog, between this point and the home, you fish through there and you're able to unclog it. Likewise, if there's a clog between this point and the street, you go in through this entrance and fish through there and unclog the drain that way. It's a four inch ABS pipe that's been specified. So it lots of flow for those future toilet flushes. So this is where our sewer line is run underneath this earth here. This is the existing homeowner's um, gas line, but our units are all electric. They have their uh, tankless water heater, very nice feature. They have a mini split system, that's for this primary residence. If you want a mini split in your home, that is an option. Here's another clean out. You know there's a turn in the sewer line when there's a clean out. So that sewer lines run from up there down here, there's a clean out and then it turns and connects right in this vicinity where we connect to the sewer line, the sewer main. And that just falls down. So sewer lines under the street and that's how that works. But this is a beautiful home in a beautiful area, kind of an art deco, not an art deco, but like a mid-century modern home. So has a lot of classical features, including the address sign. Just a very nice home. And our, home, our new ADU is gonna make a great addition to their property. Increasing rental value, affordable housing, but what a gorgeous home. We're gonna to add to it this afternoon. So let's stay tuned. So the fire department in Escondido they're, I don't want to say picky, but they're very particular in what they want and what they're looking for. So every house needs to be within 300 feet of a, a fire hydrant. So we were able to locate one on site during permitting, which is luckily right at the corner of the next door neighbor's property here. So we measure that distance to the ADU. It's called a pole line so that if there's a fire, they're able to connect a hose and run it right to that house. We also need to make sure that there's access 
on both sides of the front street as well as that alley in case the fire departments or paramedics need to get through. So that was really helpful in the permitting process, but did take a little bit longer because of how, um, how strict their guidelines are with the fire department. So look, our concrete guys just arriving now, United Concrete. We'll see them in the back. I'm sure they want to check on their pad. Turned out beautiful. And uh, let's take a look at this house. This is another beautiful studio model. You can see the soffits, the eaves, the window frames, the body of the home. They all match the primary residence. Sometimes the city looks for stuff like that, sometimes not. Otherwise, you just pick out a beautiful model that you're happy with. So today we have the remote control tractor. This is one of my funnest toys to play with. Maybe we'll get the chance to play with this controller in a little bit, but that controller operates that crane or that little, that little machine right there that's going to start putting this home right into place. Look at this beautiful little home. Nice kitchen. We'll try taking a look at the bathroom after we get it installed. Bedroom on this side. Just an adorable home. It's going to add a lot of value to the neighborhood and the family. Sub panel. You can tell that pipe is going to connect to that other pipe on site. Similar model that we installed to our last video. You can tell the kitchen's beyond that rectangular window there. Let's go get set up in the backyard. United Concrete, what's up, Tommy? What's up? Good morning, my man. Good morning. How's it going? Good All right, so we have a special guest here today on the ADU show, Tommy Molina, Mitch Blosky. Thanks so much for joining us today. Come, come a little closer. So, Tommy's responsible for pouring all of our slabs and he does a great job, haven't had an issue yet, and we don't ever see one in the future either. What, can you tell me a little bit about this pad? How thick is it? What's it made out of? How do you get it done so fast and so clean? Well, we uh, compact the soil with DG, and then uh, we have a six inch slab with a curve on the side, we usually has about a foot footing and we have some rebar and in our concrete we have so there's a footing all the way around this yeah. with rebar yes six inch that's that's good size it is stronger than enough have a, we put a fiber in our mix just to make it a little bit stronger yeah that's just good to give it a little stronger for the cracking like you said to try to avoid it. yeah and then you put these nice control joints in here just to make sure in case there's any kind of settling there's not cracks and splits where you don't want them. They're nice and controlled. Show you that you can kind of see that here in the background. Anything else you want to share about this? What's your company? United Concrete. Tell tell them. United Concrete. Call United Concrete. United Concrete out of San Diego. Well, Tommy, thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. This is great. We're looking forward to many projects in the future. Thank you. So Thank you. All right, so. It's another tight squeeze, a lot like other deliveries we've had where we couldn't use the crane, but we always make it happen. You see there's just a little bit of clearance on this side between the fence and the home, and the same thing on this side with this giant 1998 Suburban over here on the left. We're barely making it, we're gonna see if we can actually move that truck. Otherwise, it's gonna be a smooth ride in, and uh, yeah, let's check it out in a time-lapse video and see how it's, it's pushed through this tiny space. So here we have it. Our house is getting rolled in nice and slow about one mile an hour or less. Just ever so slowly, inching away, making sure everything's safe and sound to roll it into its final resting place. So get that time lapse back on and let's see it go, to, go home.
Right now we're just kind of fine tuning the delivery, making sure that it's gonna line up exactly where we want it. Next up we'll begin removing the tongue, the chassis and the axles, and start strapping it down to its permanent foundation, connect the utilities, and call for final inspection. It's actually kind of an interesting material that we use to uh, protect the underside of the house. It's not only waterproofing, but it's actually, I guess if you taste it, it's kind of nasty. There's a uh, if when animals, if animals get under here, none of our houses have ever had that issue, but there's something in there that uh, tastes yucky to, you know, animals. So they, they're dissuaded from taking a bite out of it. Here we are, we're opening up the house. Let's go take a look. All right, first look. Here's the restroom we're gonna have sh uh, shower sl sliding doors on the shower nice clean bathroom there's a kitchen sink all the paperwork that comes with the house including warranty information and builder guide electric stove refrigerator we're gonna get everything cleaned up in the next couple days here this is the shower door Beautiful vaulted ceilings. Nice view out into the community with excellent lighting. These lucky people have some beautiful oranges. They can just open this window right up. Grab an orange if they want to. <laughs> Turned out great. Got a furnace. Additional closet space. Sleeping area, wonderful studio. I mean, these these models just turn out beautifully. Very happy with it. I think the owners will be too. Well, there you have it. I think you all know exactly what I'm going to say. That was a very successful delivery. Smooth as can be. A few tight spots getting it in. We had the overhead power lines to work with, but we moved them out of the way. Overall. Excellent day. Very uh, hard work to be very proud of with an excellent team. It's uh, they're some of the best in the industry that we work with. McDonald's Transport. Unfortunately, Bob's Crane wasn't out here today, but you know what? We still had an all-star team. With our crew, uh, crew on the ground. We had United Concrete, which we got to say hello to. Otherwise, in the upcoming uh, hours here, today we're going to be disconnecting this tongue, as I previously mentioned, removing the wheels and the axles, resting it down ever so slightly onto its piers, which is a structurally uh, state certified foundation system that puts these manufactured homes onto a permanent foundation. So um, it's removed from the uh, DOT uh, or the Department of Transportation, their inventory of mobile homes, and it does become a fixed part of uh, this property it changes the title uh, to have in to include an ADU. It's overall uh, such a great product to include in your backyard if you have the space. Uh, I'm Mitch Blosky with the ADU Show. If you have any questions or uh, if you're interested in one of the homes that you've seen us install, please feel free to reach out, leave a question or a comment in the comment section below, and we'll be sure to reach out to you. You can check us out at instantliving.com or empireadu.com. All the drafting and the permitting is performed by affordabledrafting.com. Great companies to work with. We're very happy to be part of the process. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time on the ADU Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.